By here I have a side-by-side -side comparison of some Westinghouse model CO overcurrent relays. The one on the left is complete and the one on the right has the drag magnet assembly removed. Now the drag magnet performs a very specific task in the operation of the time overcurrent relay. The drag magnet, as seen right here, puts a uh, constant permanent magnetic flux across the surface of the disc. And so as the aluminum disc rotates past the drag magnet, the effect of Lenz's law is to induce currents in the aluminum disc to slow down its motion. Now that slows down the motion in the return setting here, as you can see the disc slowly returning to its uh, starting position, as well as retarding the motion when it advances with operating torque. So it operates, or it acts to slow down the motion of the disc. This disc over here does not have a drag magnet attached to it. As you can see, it moves very rapidly. I can move it with my finger, and in fact, it even bounces back and forth. There's no drag action of the magnet to slow it down. This disc right here, if I try moving it, takes a long time to move back to its home position because the effect of Lenz's law acting on that disc and the drag magnet. So this performs a very important function in the time over current relay operation. We want this relay to operate, taking a certain amount of time to advance to the trip position. We do not want the relay to simply spin as fast as it can. That would be more like the operation of an instantaneous overcurrent relay. To get the time overcurrent characteristic, we definitely want that drag magnus effect.